Boom. Yes! Uh, oh, that clone is so nice. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Awesome Knots. Today, we have a PvP match with uh, the Dizzy Little Frog. We got a bot match with her, and I did relatively well, so we're going to see how she does in PvP. I expect her to be extremely tricky. Uh, I'm going to try and make really good use of the clones, because that is super important. And then, uh, obviously, the dashes as well. But, um, the clone is her main source of burst damage. As you can see right there, just uh, smashing up some enemy droids. I don't really want to engage after I just got hit with the Skoldir DOT because uh, Dizzy's health is extremely low. So I'm going to go ahead and creep just a little bit. Do the creep! Do the creep! There we go. We've got a Ulip and a Gnaw against their Skoldir, Ksenia, Max Focus. And um, yeah, I would say they're a little bit melee based. Oh, get this guy. He's dead. He's dead, right? Is he dead? I guess not. I don't know how that guy lived. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. I'm gonna stay back. All of our team has a relatively low base health total, so uh, we're gonna need to be really, really careful. Really, they have a low base health total too, except for Skoldir. Uh, but Skoldir is always a really scary opponent to go up against. So, whip through these droids just a little bit, whip through that max focus. Uh, I don't really have the damage increase yet. I decided to go for the bubble gun upgrade. Um, yeah. Also, it, it's good for scouting for Ksenia when she's invisible. If some of your bubbles start disappearing early, then you go, Oh, I know where you are, sneaky little sneak. Oh my god. That I knew was going to be bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have ditched. But, yeah, hindsight's 2020. My first reaction was to get the fuck out of there, because it was uh, quite a quite a collected attack. They did quite a good job of uh, sticking together on that one. And then I'll whip through that skull deer a couple times. It's not enough even with uh, Ulip scripting gaze to do, to do much aside from uh, sending him back home, or at least creeping. Yeah, he's, he's a relatively poor health now, so that's nice. And let me try and get this max focus. Oh well, he's gone. Got that invisi orb and he is out. But uh, we're doing a better job than they are at uh, keeping the turrets going. So even if they do a little more damage... Oh my god. <laughs> triple, uh, triple dashes get you out of uh, harm's way extremely quickly. So that's super nice. And there's a couple more. Boom! Yes! Nice clone kill on that Ksenia. Um, I don't know how I knew she was going to jump up. I guess it's what I would do as a Ksenia. So I'm going to go back to base, get a little more of that damage, dama lama damage, because that is always the most important thing um, for basically any character you're playing, unless you're doing like a strictly support role, something like Ulip. But even Ulip, I'll upgrade the gripping gaze uh, damage before anything else. And there, the Ksenia just silencing me a little bit. That's fine. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, Invisi Orb before anybody does something nasty with it. And I was not able to save the Ulip just then, which is super unfortunate. A little bit of a mistake on my part. I probably should have stuck that Ksenia a little better. So she's made a double kill now. Um, we're gonna have to be extremely careful, but... Dizzy is one of those slippery characters. I don't think uh, I'm going to have much problem getting away from anybody who thinks they're thinks they're going to present a problem for me. So, looks like we're pushing on both of their turrets at the same time, even with only one character out. They seem to be concentrated a bit too much on kills, um, rather than knocking the turrets down, which is what the whole game is about. <laughs> you can get all the kills you want, but if you don't knock the turrets down, then, then nothing else really matters. Now it seems this max focus is uh, stuck. <laughs> I dashed on him a couple times, but that's fine. Oh, missed my clone against the droids. Not good. Need a little more practice with that. And I did barely see that max focus grab the invisi orb. Oh, boom! <laughs> oh, that is really sweet. I like the the clone kills, and they're extra easy to get when Ulip's hanging around. How's that? Boom, boom! Now 3-0, really nice dashes, uh, able to take down that Skull Deer. 
really cool. He was trying to run away, and uh, that shit ain't gonna happen. Not with Dizzy. She's here. She's ready for action. And um, you can see my clones are doing 400 damage against the droids, which is ba basically able enough to uh, be able to take them out in almost one hit. You can basically drop a clone and dash through the droids, and then that is it. They're gonna be done. Uh, it seems we've got a DC on their part. Basically, um, yeah, he was disconnecting and having some connection issues. It's some of the trouble that I found with uh, the new build or the new Galactron interface. I am able to find PvP matches, but sometimes it's uh, really difficult to stay connected to said PvP matches. So that Ksenia got our Ulip again. There's really not a whole lot that Ulip can do against Ksenia which is uh, pretty unfortunate. You can try and uh, bind her up, things like that, but it doesn't always work the way that you would hope. So yeah, she's gonna get away. That's fine. Their scoop is the replacement, so now they've got an even more tanky team, but um, that, that don't bother me none too much. We got their bottom che turret chewed up pretty good, and uh, we're doing some work on the top one as well. So that's the plan. Get everything destroyed. Get in the base, and there I'm able to uh, steal steal that health orb. I think Ksenia might have died if I had uh, a couple more upgrades on my splash dash. I don't have the damage upgrade for that yet. I did go for the clone instead. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> All right, back into the fray. Um, that was a really interesting series of kills that happened right there. And uh, we, we did come out on the, the minus end of that, but that's okay. We're going to do just fine. I do have some damage upgrade for my, my splash dash now. So I'm going to uh, try and lure as best I can, get a little clone action going. Really dashing in and placing a clone is probably one of the, uh, the best things to do. And then um, just like that, you're able to do a ton of damage. And Eulip was able to pick up that kill fucking awesome. Uh, it, I don't think we're going to be able to hold against this turret very long, but Ulip is doing his best to keep our droids healed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the bottom now. Boom. Take those droids out relatively easy. Yeah, we're, we're clearing waves. Their team is basically falling apart um, without much of a reason. I guess for the max focus disconnecting or something like that. But now we've got two waves up against this turret. This shit's coming down for sure. They haven't even dented any of ours. Um, like I said, they are mostly focused on getting player kills rather than destroying turrets. Which is quite a mistake. And there I was able to uh, get the explosion and the splash dash and assist the Ulip with killing Ksenia. So that was really, really nice. Um, I think we're going to be able to stay in here. Oh no, Ulip's dead. I'm out. I don't want to be here for this. Bye bye and there, oh, Skulldeer just walked right through my uh, explosion. I was gonna say I held off the Skulldeer with it, but um, yeah, he didn't give a shit. He took that 400 damage like a boss. Hmm, we've got four droids here now, so let's see if I can just, ooh, so close to, to death right there. Hmm, come on out, Skulldeer. We could be friends, buddy. Yeah, he's going back to base. I see Ksenia on my mini-map. I'm gonna try and head over here and get her. Boom. Okay. That Invisi is uh, quite a thing. And they're able to just lure her a little bit. Boom. Yes! Uh, oh, that clone is so nice if you're able to place it properly. Uh, if you're not able to place it properly, yeah. Doesn't really make a difference. But if you're gonna play Dizzy, uh, you should probably practice. Because... That is uh, a great form of burst damage. So we're back in here. Their top turret's destroyed. I think it's over, friends. This has been Dizzy. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, friends. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe, as that is always appreciated. It helps the channel to get out there. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing these new awesome knots that are popping up with the uh, free-to-play expansion. Super, super cool. Uh, we did Smiles, uh, hopefully he'll come live soon and we can get a PvP match going with him. So I hope you look forward to that, definitely join me for it. Spread the word about the Awesome Knots free to play. Spread the word about the Dayton Does, the Gospel of Dayton Does. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> Anyways, I appreciate your your support. That you guys are all awesome, all um, yeah, fantastic people for bothering to to notice that I exist. So I appreciate you each and every one. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching again. And until then, friends. Bye -bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.